yo, like, okay, they're landing right in front of me at that, like, 45 degree angle. They're probably going to fast ball turn. Because there's, like, a little, there's a little startup to it, you know? But, well, I, oh, he's opting to go Ken for game one. This is interesting. Yeah, interesting. Uh, the thing about Greninja is that he has a lot of kill power in, the, in with his aerials and uh, very strong moves, but uh, they have a lot of lag, too. So you can kind of... You can't really threaten the airspace directly in front of him there. Right? I mean, the Greninja is all about getting those bread and butter combos, you know? So in order to get his most damaging stuff, he needs to open up with, like, down tilt or dash attack or, or nair, you know? Some things that are, you know, relatively quick but also very predictable. And so it makes it hard for Greninja to really get anything started without being, like, predictable. Well, Ken, on the same hand, like, yeah, he has a similar problem, but he has better frame data than Greninja, I would say, at, at least in the, the the CQC, you know? Like, and if, if he wishes an attack, like, he doesn't get punished as hard as Greninja does. Definitely, but we're also seeing the other upside uh, as, as he gets hit by that shuriken right there, which is for uh, a... I just realized uh, the tempo we have shurikens and shurikens at the same time. But yes, shurikens. Dreams has his shurikens that he can fall back and camp on. And really, Ken doesn't have a lot of answers to that. I mean, with Greninja's speed and uh, uh, Ken's short range, it makes it difficult to deal with. Dreams just wants to sit back and hunt those shurikens at him. Right. But the, the counter argument to that is that shurikens aren't going to kill you. And they're not doing enough damage where, like, Ken really cares about getting hit by one of the shurikens. At least the fast one. The large one, yeah, okay, that could be a bit of a problem. But, like, if you're charging up a large one, then Ken's just going to full hop over that and land with an air and then get a good combo off of that. So, yet again, like, yeah, shurikens are, like, annoying, but they're not going to be super threatening. As opposed to, like, Ken landing with Nair, and then, like, if you shield it, then he goes into down tilt combos, uh, like, or plus on shield, basically. So, yeah, Dreams needs to pick his engagements very carefully, because, as we saw there, Ken will just destroy you if, right. if he gets an opening. Uh, now, Greninja's advantage in this matchup, as we mentioned before, is speed, so he has the choice to choose his engagements. Right? Again, another annoying shuriken won't win in the game, but will give him a little bit of percentage. You know, I, I like the, the runaway there, but I feel like if you're going to you have a good enough grab where, like, you can... If you see somebody landing with focuses, like, right in front of you, you, you should be going for a grab. Oh, definitely. Like, Greninja does have a good grab on this game. Uh, I don't think he can kill you off grab. Oh, oh my God. You know what? He had the kill with the first jab, but like I feel like he didn't trust it. And then he followed up the, the roll, the defensive option, and managed to shield poke at the the follow-up. Yeah, definitely. Greninja, uh, or sorry, Ken is a character that you really need to trust yourself with. Because uh, once you go into that activating your ma muscle memory, um, you've got to be sure you have that opening. I mean, Ken is the character where his neutral and his, his neutral is like, meh. You know, it's not it's not horrible, but he really excels at his advantage. Thing. Like, when he lands that hit, you are eating, like, at minimum 20% if they, if they mess it up. And at most, like, 50 to 60%, you know? And if you're at 50 to 60% and you get hit with, like, another, like, really strong combo, like, starter, you're either eating another, like, 30% or you're dying. You know? Yeah, kill, uh, Ken can kill him so quickly, just off of a few openings. Uh, and that's what makes his character just terrifying to fight. Okay, I like how Dreams is playing around focus here. Right. He's just spacing well enough around it that he doesn't get on it. And yet again, that cross-up is another thing where, like, you know, you most characters, are, they feel like, okay, if I can cross up the shield, like, this move is relatively safe. But against the Shotos, like, you can't really do that. So you got to figure out, okay, if I can't cross you up, how am I going to beat you, you know? So, yeah, yeah, I feel like for Dreams, like, the answer should be, you know, go up in close and use your your really good poking options, your, your shuriken, your down tilt to kind of just, like, poke at Ken while, like, avoiding anything that Ken can throw out, you know? Yeah, that's something easier said than done, though. Oh, basically, yeah. they can eat it. Pull that off. Because a 
lot of practice with this character. All right. No, I like I like the attempt there, but you know I feel like he flipped up on the side B a little bit because he wanted to go like off stage and side B, but he just landed up on stage for it. And there you go. No, but he was too high for the up smash to connect, and so you know what? Now he's probably gonna have to go for the up air for it to kill. Okay, Dream's going off stage here, very aggressively. Looks like Fredge is still gonna make it back though. He's pressuring him in the corner. All right, Fredge just made it back to center stage. Looks like, yeah, that's Ooh. all he needed just to Crescent. take that top. You know what? I feel like you don't see Crescent kick kill like that often, but like when you're pretty much hard DIing right to get out of the combo, like yeah, that that really kill. Like, but you know what? Dying at 172. Bringing it back to even, I, I, it's definitely doable for for Dream. I feel like he just really needs to like outspace Ken a little bit better. You know, you have the speed, you have the tools in your kit to outspace the Shoto. So if you're in that close range, I feel like the options just disengage and then reset neutral and try to like poke at him again. Yeah, we're seeing Dream speed a lot more careful here, um, and it's paying off for him a, a, a lot. Here. I mean, he's, he's down, but compared to last game, he's still in this for sure. Right. Had, sure, he's stuffing out that jump in Dreams. Right. Ooh, I, I love how like he cut that short just to throw off uh, Dreams' timing on that down air. Okay, yeah, that up air multi hit is great. Great for the focus, as we saw with Dreams there. And again, throwing out that second down tail, Crudge dropping shield right there. Ooh, just air dodges into the shuriken, and no, it, oh, Dreams was reading the, the, initial, the immediate getup and didn't find it. Gets a punish on that up B, you know. I feel like Crudge is trying to read a lot of anti-airs, you know, and, and that up B, it's a really strong anti-air, but that's a high risk, high reward move if you win it, and not quite the shield break. Easy shield pressure coming in. And ooh, just sneaks in that back area. Yeah, that's kind of like the the risk of running that water shuriken is that they have a good like landing aerial like that back air, you know. And you don't release that shuriken in time, you're gonna eat a back air to the face. Yeah, it'd be pretty like uh, if your opponent gets up really close while you're charging. Right. I feel like this is what we need to see from Greninja getting his own combos. I feel like that was the first time we see you no know, dreams like actually get one of his like bread and butter combos with Greninja in the match. Uh, Dream's going to put that shirt in, in the corner, right? Very risky. I'm surprised you get punished by the shirt. Yeah, again, no, I feel like Dreams has finally found his like rhythm in the matchup. You know, he's really kind of figuring out, like, okay, what does Crutch want to do? And how am I going to be able to punish him for it? But, you know, Crutch is definitely not out of the matchup yet. And just beats. At this point, with how much rage he has, he won't be able to one more to finish this off. And he's found his way back to center stage, but not before Dreams get another, gets another shot. Right. Okay. Yeah, again, getting thrown off stage, you know, using the focus to kind of land on stage, you know. But you guys also have to watch out for that, because Greninja does have that multi-hit up air, so if you get a little bit too trigger-happy with that focus, you're going to get punished for it. And there's the... No, he didn't jab! Attack. Oh my god, if that was jab, that would have been death, because that would have been a jab block. That would have been a jab block and a short you can, that would have been the game. But he Dreams tries to anti- Oh my god, and you know what, Dreams kind of giving him a little bit too much respect. Oh, oh my god. There, there is so much flubbery going on on both players' parts right there. You know, if you're Ken, like, you don't have to go for these super risky up Bs. You know, you have a really strong kill oh, confirm, but... Yeah. I mean, that was really good on Dreams' part to realize that, like, okay, Crudge is getting really, really panicky with these attack options. So the second he recognized, like, oh, he's going to land with a uh, landing fair or landing there, you know, I'm going to counter that. I'm going to kill him for it, you know? Yeah, saving that read up his sleeve for the final kill, yeah. Um, especially if all that sp spaghetti, too. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. You know, as long as your opponent is also spaghetti, it doesn't matter as long as you make that one... As long as, one as long as you get the final scene. laugh, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. success. Oh, could we see Crutch be going back to Ike here? Uh, I mean, I definitely feel like his Ike is his better character, but I mean, if you want... Like, I feel like Ken is slightly better than Ike, just because, like, Ike, once you figure out his pattern, like, you can kind of punish him for what he does, you know? But... 
10. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. It's definitely not a bad matchup, especially when you're going up against a fast character like Greninja. You know, you want to be able to have, like, quick, like, options like that down tilt, like that, uh, like the Fidoken just to, like, have a projectile to deal with, uh, uh Greninja's own projectiles. You know, so they can say, oh, you're not going to camp out there forever because I have my own projectile that you kind of have to, like, respect a little bit, too. Yeah, and Greninja has so much speed, so much ability to vertical movement, but once he's trapped by Ken, as we're seeing right now, it's so scary. But uh, Green finding his way out of this corner with this huge combo. Oh okay, my god, some yeah. jank going on there with right. the, what is that, the water spout? Uh, that's Hydro Pump. I see. Okay. Oh, oh that trade. charges on him. Yep. You know, that trade definitely not working out in Crudge's favor. And yet again, he's trying to find the kill, but you know what? If you don't shield it, then like, you kind of just gotta go for whatever you can just to like, minimize the amount of punish you're gonna get. Oh, but he's popping off right now. Going for that side B right, read off stage, that's how you know he's healing himself. Right. There's that turnaround again, going for the, the, the roundhouse instead of the, the short you right there. Right, in trouble right now. He's just getting hit by these water shurikens. And uh, Dream's just retreating here until he can find an opening. He's making it so hard for him. Right, right, right. right. I mean, definitely, if you're in Dream's position, you have the stock lead. You got the kill confirmed. You have the percent lead. Like, you do not have to commit to anything at this point. You you gotta let, uh, you know, Ken come to you and just, like, let him fall into your traps. Dream and Fudge unable to make anything up out of that red trap situation. But he finds that back air, right. finally. That's, is that what he needs to go back to this? Let's find out. Dream spamming the water shurikens, and then just, he's just kind of water shurikens, and then draws Fudge into a situation where he's overextended and punishes him. Punish him. Oh, you know, Crudge really wanted that down air. He really wanted to even up the stocks as early as possible, you know, trying to minimize this lead that Dream has on him. Uh, I'm sensing a little frustration here from Crudge, but he finally gets that grab. Yeah, good parry. Parry, but yeah, but he won't no. get anything for that. Yeah. Oh, drag down. Oh, and there's the yeah, fair. going to take it. Yep. Bread and butter, like you said at the beginning. All right, I'm going to see if I have a match at this point. All right, knock him dead, Dempo. All right, so Dream.